In this video, we're going to download uh, data for our example. Um, and the data is for Kansas City 311 call center call statistics. So you can find the link on my website right here. Uh, when you click that, it's going to take you to Kansas City's open data project. Uh, it's a website where you can download various um, information, in this case, call center call statistics. Um, so we want to bring this data, we want to download this data and bring it into Excel. You can do that by clicking on the export button right here. Export button right here. When you do that, um, you have to next select CSV for Excel. When you click that, um, Excel file will be downloaded. You can then open it in Excel. And when you do that, this is what you're going to see. So let's go through this table. Let's see what we have here. Um, before we do that, I'm going to freeze the first row. Um, I will add filter to our data. And let's expand all the columns so that we can clearly see all the data. As you can see, the first column, that's the date. So, for example, in row 6, we see my 7th of 2013. This means that all the statistics in this row were taken on this day. Second column, that's month year. Uh, it's simply... Um, the different formatting for the same date. We don't need that. Uh, column B, calls received. So this tells you how many calls were received on, the, on a given day. Now keep in mind, calls received means all the calls that arrived at the call center, but not necessarily were answered. So even if you call 311 and no one picks up because you hang up right away, this number will include your call. Uh, column C, calls handled. This is the number of calls that our call center answered. Calls handled by other. This is number of calls that somebody else answered. And honestly, the data doesn't really, the data set doesn't specify what exactly this means. I can only assume that this is probably um, number of calls that were answered by another department. Perhaps 911 call center was helping out 311 call center and uh, they were helping them out with their workload and answered 27 calls for us here on this date. The next column calls, ab calls abandoned. This is the number of calls that we didn't get to answer. So the callers hang up before the call was answered. Uh, there are many different reasons for abandonment and you know most often it's the impatience. A caller is not patient enough and hangs up after a minute or two minutes of you know waiting for the call to be answered. You will also see that calls abandoned is equal to total calls received minus handled calls. Abandonment rate that's simply division of calls abandoned divided by uh, 2084, which is the calls received. So on this day, 16% of all the calls received were abandoned. Average handle time are commonly referred to as AHT. This is the average amount of time that it took for the operator to handle the call, meaning time between answering the call and ending the call. By clicking, clicking on the drop down you can see that these calls length ranged between 2 minutes and 5 minutes. Well, 6 minutes. Average speed to answer, commonly referred to as ASA. This is how much time on average it took on a given day to answer the call. So, if you are the caller, you're calling, you dial in 311, um, your call is not answered immediately, you have to wait for some time before someone answers your call, and on this day here, on average that was two minutes, which is actually somewhat long. You can see that most of the time, 
ASA was shorter, it, it was more like one minute. Longest hold time, so from all the different holds that colors were placed on throughout the day, what was the longest hold? Monthly abandonment rate, well so this is uh, similar to the column we already described, abandonment rate. The difference is that column F, abandonment rate, is the abandonment rate for this particular day. Whereas column J, monthly abandonment rate, uh, that's probably the average abandonment or the total abandonment rate for month to date. Uh, the remaining three columns are pretty simple. Month translated into a number, so since this is May, the number is five. Uh, year number, name of the weekday, uh, and staffing. You will see that many of these cells don't have staffing number, some of them do. Um, because again, this data isn't really documented uh, online, I don't exactly know how to interpret the staffing number. It could be a functional staffing number, it could be operational number, uh, I don't know. And if you wonder about the differences, uh, the difference will be also described in another uh, article on my website. So, for the purpose of this article, we use some of the columns. Uh, you will have to filter your data appropriately for each article. Um, I hope that you have a better understanding of uh, how to interpret all these numbers here. If not, feel free to email me. I will be happy to answer any questions. Thank you.